The top y'all at Steve from Path to Summit LLC, a virtual project management firm that provides project staffing, project guidance, and creates PMOs for organizations all over the globe. Last video, we did some row conditional formatting in our sheet. This time we're going to look at more specific conditional formatting for cells, not just rows. So let's hop into the sheet and take a look. What we're looking at right now is some really cool conditional formatting based on hierarchy. But when I'm looking at the sheet, I'm not really getting an easy glance over what tasks have been started, what's in process, what's completed. I'm just going to add some new rules. And what I want to do is based upon the status of the task, the not started stuff, I don't want to be popping out or anything like that. I'm just going to make it a simple shade of gray and we're going to keep continuing with the different statuses and anything in progress. We're going to do in what would be a nice in progress, like a light green and Close. Anything blocked, we're going to make red. Last one, anything completed. You know, I don't always like formatting completed, but I'm going to do it for this video and we'll call it blue. So now we're looking at it and we're like, oh, wow. When we have a rainbow of colors now, what's what the heck am I looking at? So we formatted the whole row. I want to just highlight just the status with the colors, right? What I'm going to do is instead of entire row here, I'm going to say just the status for each rule. Super simple. So now the conditional formatting, the top rule overrides anything below it. So I'm making sure that the status columns only change where the conditional formatting for the entire row isn't. So in the previous video, we wanted to make sure like all the groupings had some sort of coloring to it to decipher it from an actionable task. But I want these actionable tasks to have a certain color in the status column based upon the status that it's showing. So boom, we got it. We can see, oh, I missed one entire row, not there, not status. Status, give me status, okay. done. So now we, while we're looking at this, your grouped rows don't hold the uh, formatting because the conditional format is higher up in level and only your bottom rows, your task rows are actually pulling in that formatting for the status column. So now when I'm looking at it, it's like, oh, cool. I can see a whole lot of stuff. That hasn't been started and it's gray. A few blue completes, which is great. And uh, green in progress. If you saw something that's blocked, it's going to really pop out with the red and gain your attention much quicker versus trying to read through every single test. When you start to get a true project sheet together, this could be hundreds of rows. You don't want to go through and read every single row and try to get where's the block status. Now I can look for the red and say, Hey, this is something that might need my attention as a project manager. You can do that with any sort of column you want or row or whatever. Just have to understand what sort of conditions you're looking for. And don't go crazy with color. You don't want to open up a sheet and be inundated. Make it simple. Make it easy to see. Have questions? Comment below. We actually respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our Path to Summit channel for more project management tips, tricks, and software tutorials.